Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Isaiah 4. Let me go to Isaiah 4 and read it to you. Isaiah 4, 1. And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by your name to take away our reproach. The branch of the Lord glorified. Isaiah 4, 2. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. You can see the women are looking for men because there was a war. Men have died. Israel is surrounded and there was a war against Israel. We are in the sealed tribulation period. Isaiah 4.3 And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remained in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Isaiah 4.4 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the fills of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning, the fills will be removed, the filthy garment, and replaced with white, fine white linen. Where have you seen that? In the book of Revelation. In Revelation 7. The multitude clothed in white. We are in the sealed tribulation and we are cleaning our filthy garments through the blood of the Lamb. And the daughters of Zion, or the sons and daughters of Zion, will be cleaned and be ready to stand as a multitude clothed in white at the base of Mount Zion. And the Lord, Isaiah 4 5, and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night for upon all the glory shall be a defense here the lord is promising that he will set up his holy tents the dwelling places of mount zion the societies of the rose and all of her assemblies all of her members that come together and he will protect them by day with the cloud and smoke and by night with the shining of a flaming fire, because for upon all the glory shall be a defense. The Lord is using these dwelling places of Mount Zion as his refuge during the sealed tribulation period. Isaiah 4, 6. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a cover from storm and from rain. This shows, like in the tabernacle that was there during the first exodus, now also in the great exodus, the spiritual one coming out of the world and out of Babylon and walking towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. There will be a tabernacle and it will be for a cover and a refuge and it will be the holy of holies and the glory of the Father and of the Son. Isaiah 4 Isaiah 4 is describing, is describing exactly what we are doing with Triple Grace. We are establishing, establishing these dwelling places of Mount Zion in the nations, our societies of the rose, and we will gather the assemblies together so that you be part of the harvest worker. If you read at Luke 10, you see that there are 72 and in, in the end times there will be 72,000 harvest workers going out who will be the first fruit of the rapture of the church. And they will go out and they will bring in the great harvest of the ages. They will bring the wheat into the barn. They go two by two. So we will have 36,000 dwelling places of Mount Zion throughout the whole nations. And you can be part of one. You can be one of the harvest workers, become an elder, be a patron of Triple Grace, come together, join us, work with us together, build these dwelling places of Zion, and walk with us that pass to the holy mountain, 
so that you can be part of the multitude closed in white and be raptured into paradise at the sixth seal. Everything is written. Read Isaiah 4, read Luke 10. There you see the harvest workers coming forth, 72, and in the end time, 72,000. Why 72,000? Because it's exactly half of 144,000. Because the seal tribulation is not the double portion. The double portion is a trumpet period. There we have 144,000. And during the seal tribulation, we have 72,000 first fruits. And these are the harvest workers that will bring in the wheat harvest of the Lord, the great harvest of the ages. They will create the foundation of Mount Zion. Think about it. 36,000 dwelling places, 36,000 societies of the rose. Each society of the rose with 50 people. We come to 1.8 million harvest workers as the foundation of Mount Zion. And they will win the souls, win souls, bring people to righteousness, and then will come to this multitude closed and white that nobody could number. The fulfillment of the Abrahamic covenant. Now you can either pass us on the right or on the left, or you can join us. Be partner up with Triple Grace, be part of it and become a harvest worker. Build your own dwelling place in your neighborhood. Become a as a harvest worker and an elder for Triple Grace or state or national leader. A link will be in the first pinned comment. Step forward now onto the path to Mount Zion. You are called forth to bring in the harvest. And the fire will refine you and will make you gold and better and cleaner and it will cleanse you completely so that your filthy garment will be changed into fine white linen. And that will allow you to be raptured into paradise at the sixth seal at Mount Zion. Thank you that you have listened to this topic and I hope you liked it and you will come back tomorrow. Please join us, partner up with us, follow that link in the first pinned comment. Become an elder, a state or national leader. Bring everything for us. Establish the dwelling places of Zion in the nations. Help us to gather the people together, to gather the assemblies of Zion, so that we can all stand there and will have access to the holy place at Mount Zion. And there we will be raptured into paradise. Thank you for your time, that you have listened, and that you will partner up with us. I love you also dearly, my brothers and sisters, and I will see you again tomorrow. Maranat.